failure metrics are essential in managing the downtime of your equipment. Let's cover the difference between the three most used metrics, MTBF, MTTF and MTTR. Firstly, let's talk about what a failure metric is. As a type of maintenance metric, it can give you a lot of information about the condition of your equipment and the effectiveness of your maintenance strategy. Understanding it is vital to building a successful preventative maintenance program in your company. So, how exactly do we measure failure? There are three metrics that indicate a certain length of time. MTBF or mean time between failures, MTTF or mean time to failure, and MTTR or mean time to repair. Let's look at the difference between them. The mean time between failures is a maintenance metric that says a lot about the reliability of your equipment. To calculate MTBF, divide the total number of operational hours by the number of failures. The most common unit of measurement for MTBF is hours. Studying MTBF can help your maintenance crew reduce downtime, save money and work more efficiently. The mean time to repair is a maintenance metric that indicates how long it takes to troubleshoot and repair an issue. How to calculate the mean time to repair? Add up the total time spent on all the unplanned maintenance of any one asset and then divide that time by the total number of repairs. MTTR is a crucial indicator of an organization's ability to maintain its systems, equipment, applications and infrastructure. It can also mark efficiency in repairing equipment in the event of an ID outage. It is unavoidable for technology to fail. Understanding the mean time to repair gives businesses a sense of how fast and efficiently they can respond to breakdowns and resume normal operations. The mean time to failure is a maintenance metric that indicates how long it takes for something to fail. It is a device's average life expectancy. To calculate the mean time to failure, divide the number of hours of operation by the total number of assets in use. The MTTF applies to non-repairable assets, which are replaced when they fail. There are various reasons an asset might not be fixed, but the most typical argument is that replacing it is less expensive and time-consuming.